literally first day of school. Already learning so much, and it's only the first week. I'm about to give feet content for free. Oh my gosh, it's just so massive. <laughs> That's pretty cool. friends how are ya welcome back to the channel i'm starting a vlog in the evening which like i'm sure i've done before but like i cannot remember a time i've ever done this um i have had the grungiest day all day it's literally almost 6 p.m 5 30. i haven't washed my face i i just needed a like complete computer day don't even leave the house catch up on everything and I took that day today and I felt so nice. So because of that, I'm actually going to carry this vlog into Saturday because my like new schedule that I was gonna do was Thursday, Friday. I'm gonna do a little Thursday evening, Friday, Saturday, little weekend vlog with y'all. I start culinary school tomorrow and I leave super early in the morning. Like I'm picking up my friend that's doing it with me. We're carpooling at 7 a.m. So I'm probably gonna wake up at like 5.45 just to be all prepared. And I'm nervous and I'm excited. It's literally imposter syndrome. I hope everybody's nice. I can't wait. Really so excited. No idea what to expect. Where's parking gonna be? What do I wear? Will I bring the right things? Do I bring anything? I don't know, you know? That's like, those are my feelings right now. <laughs> mm. Jordy is actually gone. He just left. Um, so much progress has happened in the garage. I'll show you all that later. But he had a big old, you know, construction work day and he's gone just for two nights for a show. South Dakota, North Dakota, one of the Dakotas. But I wanna have a little self-care night tonight. Full, full everything shower, wash my hair, get ready for school tomorrow, class. I don't know what to call it. And I still probably have another hour or two of work that I wanna try to do tonight. I'm gonna to have to figure out how to restructure my weeks a bit, having one less work day in the week. So a bit of a learning curve, but I'm gonna just get as ahead as possible and do a little bit more tonight, but excited for an everything shower. Speaking of washing my hair, I know a lot of y'all got to see the New York trip that I went on and that was to see a tour the factory and the headquarters of a brand that I love called Pros. I'm getting to actually work with them on today's video, so I have a half off link for y'all if you're curious, but if you haven't heard of them, this is what I've been using as my shampoo and conditioner. I also have their dry shampoo. I love their hair. I love a lot from them, but I, for a long time, just couldn't find a shampoo and conditioner that worked well on my hair. So I finally went this route, which is the fully, fully hyper custom route. And it was fun to get to see how they actually did it behind the scenes because their slogan is it's made for you, but it is literally made for you. Like something cool like about the sustainability side of that is they're not producing more than they can sell there's no waste they're not producing a ton of products that sit in a warehouse and don't sell that they have to discard because when you place an order you take a quiz it looks at so many different factors like 85 different factors of like your zip code your uv your pollution your hair type your lifestyle all sorts of things and then it formulates products literally specifically for you. They're formulated actually in France, which I learned on this trip, which I love working with French brands. So I'm so shocked that I didn't know this before. They're all completely made in New York, but the formulation is follows European regulations, which is stricter than American. I could say so many good things about them because I just learned so much more than I ever even knew. So I'm gonna have a link in the description box if you wanna take the custom hair care consultation. And then if you wanna complete that consultation and try it, I have half off of your first month. So that link will be down below. Um, I definitely recommend adding on the dry shampoo to your package. Speaking of shampoo, you could also use a bath. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I love this brand and I love them even more now that I have been able to meet the team and get to know them all as people. They're really so great. Like I really admire their values as a company. Thank you pros for sponsoring this video and I will have that link down below. I'm gonna take a shower, but I'm so excited for tomorrow. I need to schedule you a dog walker. I just remembered that. I'll, I'll do that too before I forget. Okay. It's so early. It's the first day of school. Funny story though. I go to take the everything shower that I'd been looking so forward to and our hot water is not working. I don't know, it's not fully broken because it's getting slightly warm, like slightly above cold. So something is heating. It just didn't get anything relatively warm. 
definitely not hot. So I just took a little sponge bath in the sink cause I didn't want to get in a cold shower. And I'm gonna do a slick back bun today and pray that I get to do my everything shower tonight. It is six. I am aiming to leave here at seven on the dot. All I have on my list, I've already kind of packed up my bag with all of my things like snacks and baggies and I'll need to put in camera batteries and normal things, water bottle, all that sort of stuff. I'm hoping that they supply aprons. We're gonna be there like six hours. So it's not like just gonna be orientation for six solid hours, you know? I'm sure we'll do something. I don't know, I just don't know what to expect. Okay, you know, maybe it's a good thing that I had to do a slick bun because it is raining and sunny at the same time. I swear when it does this and then you see the palm trees, it feels like Hawaii. But here is my first day OOTD. Just got closed toed rubber soled shoes, which is required. So I got these old uh, Nike sneakers. I actually used to work, like be a server in these shoes. So these shoes, I can stand in for a long time. Got my Madewell curved jeans. This is just a Cezanne white tee, but they do free embroidery. So I got Jancy. And then my Quince cardigan, which I'll probably shed once I'm there. I'm just chilly. And then my new tote bag that I got in the last vlog. And I got lip gloss in these pockets. And then I have my snacks and my Ziploc bags and my keys and I'll put my camera in the main body. Wow, here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. 6.51, doing pretty good, pretty on time. Well, Katie and I are both very prepared people and we're here 45 minutes early. <laughs> there was no traffic. There was easy parking. So now we're walking to a coffee shop. Wait, was it here? I'm oh, just kidding, it's the next one. 22 miles feels further when it's rainy. <laughs> and sweet Anna just Venmoed me to get a coffee for first day of school. <laughs> I know, and I'm cute. So I'm gonna caffeinate up. Well, we just mostly focus on knife skills. I'll tell you more. But we made ceviche, made bruschetta, um, and the school is attached to this food hall that literally has Michelin burritos, which is crazy, and like a matcha spot. So celebrating with another matcha today, getting a um, a golden matcha that has like turmeric, cinnamon, ginger. Katie's getting something else. Very interesting. And they have a lot of funky drinks here, so it's great because traffic on the drive home is insane right now. So a little fun caffeinated drink will be good for the drive. That's a good plan. Okay, I just dropped my friend off at home, about to head home, but I wanted to give you a little debrief before I get there, because I think it's a bit construction day again, so who knows what's happening. Today was great. We just did knife skills, was like pretty much the focus of week one. So like I said, we made ceviche. I learned how to properly prepare shrimp and to devein it and how to do all of the, the, the proper cuts, like a julienne and all, all the different sizes. We, get, we got like a ruler with the exact cut sizes and you like try to fit it through. Not very precise. I'm really not a precise person, so I was not very good at that. But like some cool tips that I've never learned before, like you can take a clove of garlic, smash it, throw salt on it, and then use the side of your knife and the garlic, uh, the salt is like an abrasive material for the garlic. So by using the side of your knife, you can make a literal paste without having to like finally, finally chop the garlic. It's 4 p.m. I'm almost home and I am very tired. Like definitely gonna hit a wall very soon. I haven't even looked at my inbox, but I, I know that I need to clean it out before the weekend. And to be honest, what I would love to do, especially after going to class this week, is get these nails cut off because that made knife scales so much harder. Like to do a claw, my nails were very much in the way. So I, these are, these are old. I would like to go get this fixed, but I'm sure a Friday evening would be a very busy time to go to the nail salon. I don't know. Maybe people are out doing their social things. Maybe it'd be a good time. Okay. Let's go home. Let's see Max. Let's see the construction progress because I think today's been a big day. There has been some changes since I've showed y'all an update last, like the, the ceiling in the garage is now fully vaulted. All of the drywall is gone. Um, I think they're adding all the doors today, which will be fun. I think that they finished the sound panels. A lot's happening. So I'm excited to go see what's been done. 
home to my buddy. We just took a walk. I did come home to a very exciting package that I went ahead and ordered myself kind of as a gift for starting school. <laughs> also, I was like, you know, if, if I'm committing to this culinary thing, I want to have surfware I like. And like, I have all of these plates that I love. These are from our place and I have the matching bowls too. These are the old ones. They've actually discontinued these, I think because everyone feels the same. They look so cool and they're beautiful, but I think I've just decided the shape of these are too hard to eat out of. The fact that they have like an angled interior, they literally don't even sell these anymore. So I went ahead and bought myself new bowls, two types from CB2 in the huge box just got here. So we can do a little bowl unboxing and then I'm probably gonna donate these. I have a friend that has the same plates and I was like, do you want the matching bowls? And she said, oh no, I used to have them. My husband made me get rid of them. He hated them so much. <laughs> Look how big those boxes. <laughs> what do you think it is? What do you think it is? Wow. Okay, they're all just in here. Like, just like this. I think I, oh, these are, okay. I did not know how big they were gonna be, which is why I got two types. These are ramen bowls. They are beautiful though. <gasps> Imagine a huge bowl of ramen. Honestly, that's the perfect side for a, size for a salad. Oh. These are honestly wider than they look online too. It's so hard to like wrap your mind around dimensions online, but that's really pretty with the glaze that like drips down the side. So these are a lot more shallow and wide. Do I need a third size for like traditional? No, you could put traditional cereal and soup into this, right? It's not super deep but I think it's deep enough. This might take up a lot of space. <laughs> so fun. <sighs> like a proud mom. Okay, inbox actually wasn't that bad. I cleared it in like 40 minutes and actually also filmed a edit for a brand. So that was great. I honestly feel like I'm good for the weekend, which did good prep work yesterday, so. Go team. Um, and I just called the nail salon and I was like, are you guys pretty busy right now? Are you taking walk-ins? And they were like, no, come on over. So I think I'm gonna do that. Get my nails all short, probably as short as possible. It's funny because when I was doing pottery, I got it as short as possible, obviously to throw. And then I was like, oh fun, when I take a break, I'll have them long. Um, but no, 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 no. We're gonna stick with short, short nails. But I honestly kind of feel like that is more and more and more the style. Like I see a lot of very cool, cool girls with impeccable style getting super short nails so keeping that alive let's go do that fun i went in thinking i would get white but then i saw this color and it's like a very 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 light blue honestly it matches the sky right now and the whole time she was doing it i kept going back and forth between that's a really cool color and what did i just do it reminds me of like elsa from frozen back and forth normally if i pick a color i don't love i'm like yeah it's okay, it's temporary, but lately I've been letting my nails last a month, which is awesome. So now it feels more of like, oh, I'm gonna live with it for a month, but I think I really like it. It actually doesn't look that blue until I compare it with my toes, cause I got white on my toes. Am I about to give feet content for free? So like when you compare it to the white, it looks way more blue. Oh, <laughs> let's go home, let's go home, let's pray for hot water and let's take a big old shower, make some dinner, hang with Max. Honestly, nights in alone are something that I always love. Like obviously I miss Jordy a lot, but our whole relationship, we were long distance. And so I got very just used to nights in alone. And of course I'd rather have him here, but I don't mind a, I don't mind a night to, you know, just like take my time doing all the things, you know? Actually, I'm probably gonna watch Love is Blind because I finally am so late to the game. I kept seeing TikTok spoilers and everyone was like, the season is actually really good. So it took me long enough, but I finally jumped on the train to be able to know what everyone's talking about, to feel included. That's probably on tap for tonight, to be honest. Moment of truth. <sighs> I don't know what's happening with our water. I thought it was fixed. It is absolutely not. It got a little bit warm for like a minute or two 
and then that's as warm as it got and then it got cold again. I hope that that's not an expensive fix. If you watched the New York vlog, I shared pants that I've been loving because they stretch super far. I bought them off a link of a pregnant girl. <laughs> and I just went ahead and bought the matching shorts to match the top I already had because they're so freaking comfy. I can't even tell you how comfy they are. I'll link them again in case you missed that vlog. But honestly, I was hesitant because for pajamas, I was like, that's a little pricey, but I've worn them every single day, just like I've worn this cardigan every single day since I've gotten it. I'm a sensory girl. What can I say? If I like the way something feels, I will just wear it over and over and over and over. I don't care if I'm an outfit repeater. I don't care if I need to wash it again. If it's on the floor and it's right there and it's a good feeling, I will keep putting it on. <laughs> I'll be here if you need me for at least the next one hour and 27 minutes. That's a long episode. Saturday. I honestly love a Sunday even more. We have been so, so, so strict. I mean, I have on myself, but like Jordy's also been doing it too, which has been really nice of treating Sundays like a true, true, true Sabbath. A lot of the time I won't even be on my phone. We will like stay in bed till noon, just hanging out, drinking coffee, chatting. So today, I've actually booked a 10 a.m. Pilates class. I have a couple credits left. I got like this introductory rate to where the classes were like $12 a class or something, but um, a lot lower than their normal pricing. And I have two of those left before I need to figure out if I want to like essentially buy classes in bulk to get them discounted or not. But they only do weekend classes in the morning. So the latest I could get was 10 a.m. So we're gonna do that. And then I might run some errands. I need to probably pick up medication. Also, I need to pick up a Sephora order because I'm filming a TikTok for them. Um, it's not sponsored, but they did let me pick out some things. So I was like, yeah, I was about to shop the Sephora sale anyways. So gonna film that. One thing I wanna do, maybe not today, but is go to a nursery. My plants, I think the guy in here doesn't like to live in a pot. I think I really need to repot him outdoors in the soil and see if he'll grow back to life. His roots are just so constricted and I don't really have a bigger vessel for him. So I kind of eventually wanna move him outdoors and see if he revives a little and find another plant for in here. And then Jordy will get back early afternoon and tonight, it's really cute, we have a friend's birthday who came to my birthday and she was like, I enjoyed your birthday so much that I'm gonna rip it off for my birthday. And I was like, I enjoyed my birthday so much that I can't wait to go to your birthday. <laughs> I am excited for Pilates every time I go. I am sore, like hurts to move sore for three to four days. <laughs> like, I don't think I could work out again for at least three days because it hurts to, I probably could push through it, but I'm not gonna. So excited to do this on Saturday and be sore until Tuesday. <laughs> Ooh, it's a beautiful day here, honestly. If you haven't done order pickup at Sephora before, highly recommend it, because especially during the sales, the lines are so long, and then you don't like make impulse buys or like get decision fatigue. You can just plan it out and know the total before you check out, take things out of your cart, whatever, before you commit, and then you don't wait in line. You just show up and you show them your barcode at the like front, and it saves so much time. So if you haven't done that before, highly, highly, highly recommend. I think I'm gonna film the TikTok just in my car and get that checked off the list before heading home. Actually, maybe before heading to look at plants. Maybe, because it's Saturday and that sounds fun. Okay, 
Hey guys, we're going home with a big friend. I got a huge Monstera. Honestly, I've seen places sell Monsteras this big for like $150, but this guy gave it to me for 60 bucks, which I know is still a lot to spend on a plant, but I have not been able to find anything for for less than 100 bucks that's that size. And he's so sweet. He's a he's very passionate about plants. He's just like a little I don't want to say hole in the wall spot, but kind of. It's called plant play on Oceanside. So I would much rather support him than like, you know, Home Depot or Lowe's or like one of the big spots. So, and I told him that I'm going to try the plant that I have currently outside to see if it's happier. He was very concerned. He was like, the plant's not doing well. What type of plant is it? I care a lot about plants. I really want to make sure that, that plant gets healthy. <laughs> and I was like, I honestly don't know what type it is, but try to kind of explain it and said, I think, I think it just doesn't like being in the pot. And I bought it at like an outdoor garden center. So I think it's intended to be outdoors. So all that to say, let's go home and take this guy inside. I think he's going to be happy. Blue, I'm so sorry. We'll be going outside to revive. Let's see, Max. Oh my gosh. It's so massive. <laughs> wow. That's pretty cool. Honestly, that's such a big boy. <laughs> look at, look at the size of this leaf in comparison to my face. Wow, incredible. <laughs> I'm procrastinating filming another brand thing and then also uploading a video for work. So instead, something fun that we could do is reorganize and rearrange these shelves with the new bowls. <sighs> so sorry. Center this. I actually kind of wonder if this should go with more serving stuff over on that side. Okay, that feels balanced. I want nothing to be too close to something similar of its kind. So glass, 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 that's even. This type of ceramic here, 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 that's even. And then also the glass continues to every other up on the top shelf as well. And then these are kind of diagonal from each other. So they're not above each other and they're not next to each other. So I think that that is good balance to the eye. We'll probably use these more than we'll use all six of these because this is a little harder to reach. And then we have five of these glasses, which is weird because I think one broke. So having them on the book makes them look more purposeful and you can't really tell that we're missing one. I actually feel good with that. That didn't take quite as long and quite as many iterations as I expected it to. Yeah, that feels balanced. Okay, I'm getting ready to head out here pretty soon. Chug some caffeine. Um, Jordy's flight's getting in a little bit later than he thought and the birthday party is towards the airport. So I think I'm gonna meet him at a coffee shop near where the birthday party is so that we can actually have a budget meeting. Starting April 1st, we have like a very strict budget. We're logging all of our expenses in a spreadsheet. So we're gonna have a little check-in, see how we're doing with that. And also we need to talk through some tax things because first year filing taxes joint slash new state, we might've done something wrong for Q quarter one. So we gotta figure that out, cause that's scary. But I figured we could try this together. I picked this up today. I just have heard people have loved this. This is the Rare Beauty blush, but it's like so metallic. This brush isn't necessarily clean. I'm seeing if there's anything on it. Not really, okay. I'm not used to using powder blushes. Oh wow, that goes so far. Oh wow, okay. Oh, it's pretty though. Wow, that went a lot further than I thought it would. Ooh, pretty. I've kind of loved lately ending vlogs on a happy little montage because it feels like this little, this little like dessert at the end of the video. Oh, <laughs> but I wanted to say thanks again to Proves for sponsoring this video. I will have that link down in the description in case you missed it. If you complete your consultation, um, it will get you half off your first month, which is pretty amazing. So let's go end on a bang happy saturday it's been a great saturday we got a lot done and we did a lot of fun things and i worked out and i'll get to see friends it was it was, it was a good balance it's a very balanced day okay i love you let's go to the beach bye